You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Erin McPherson with your WMAR 2 News update. Happening today, a handful of families in Baltimore City are getting a special delivery. Miracles and more community outreach collected toys for children in five families this Christmas, plus hats and gloves to make sure they stay warm this winter. Kim Ridley is the director of the center. She always helps the homeless and those less fortunate in our area. But this year, because of the pandemic, she knew these people really needed the extra boost. So she got each child on their list what they really wanted this year. She even got some tablets and some GameStop gift cards. We could go in the dollar store and buy $10 items all day long, but what are those, what is this generation's kids gonna do with that? It's gonna be left to the side. If they're not on a tablet, iPhone to be able to get on YouTube, um, then the toys and the money spent is really void. We met up with Ridley at a State Farm office on Bel Air Road. The agent there says he always helps with her mission since she uses the money to help directly giving back to the community. They still have some toys left, so if you need a little extra help before tomorrow, you can reach Ridley right on their Miracles and More Facebook page or by calling 410-585-7751, and they're always accepting more donations. Now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. Heavy rain sets up shop later on this afternoon. Temperature wise, we do top out way above normal, upper 50s and the lower 60s across the state. But keep in mind, with that heavy rain, there is room for some flash flooding. So that's why flash flood watches go into effect this afternoon through early Christmas morning, along with wind advisories as well, especially across the eastern shore, as that's where we're going to be dealing with the stronger wind gusts, anywhere from 50 to upwards of 60 miles per hour. Isolated thunderstorms can't be ruled out either and also an isolated tornado. So keep an eye to the sky. The weather pattern will really start to calm down just in time for Christmas. A wintry mix is expected early in the morning, but any snowfall that we see won't amount to much uh, given how saturated the ground already is. But temperatures will drop throughout your Christmas afternoon. It's going to feel very cold and certainly very blustery throughout the day. And then temperatures start off very cold and very bitter as we head into the upcoming weekend. Thanks, Stevie. Well, stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for news and weather while you're on the go. Download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Erin McPherson. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.